Hello there everybody, my name is Rick Murray and welcome to my new holiday video thingy. Today we're going to be leaving my home country Australia and returning back to Japan. And just like last time, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me. So let's not waste any time and make our way over to Osaka, Japan. The trip will start here at the Brisbane International Airport. We'll be making a short stop off at the Cairns International Airport. After a five hour wait, we'll be boarding our final flight, which will take us across the Philippine Sea and landing at the Kansai International Airport located in Osaka, Japan. Once there, we'll be jumping on a train and we'll make our way to our hotel located right here. And unfortunately, due to the very long day, we ended up crashing uh, essentially immediately. Yep, I'm waiting for those comments to flow in about me being weak! As the morning rolled in, we wasted no time and decided to check out Osaka Castle, which thankfully was just down the road from where we were staying. So we ventured out and these are the sites we came across along the way. Once we reached the entrance of Osaka Castle, we decided to stop off at a convenience store to get some breakfast and eat it at a bench in the gardens of the castle. This was Amber's first time trying Japanese convenience store foods, and I think it's safe to say she really enjoyed it. What's your thoughts? It's actually nice. Yeah? I can't describe the flavour to you, <laughs> but it's nice. <laughs> After our meal, it was time for us to make our way to the center of the garden to Osaka Castle itself, and the sights along the way were purely spectacular. After enjoying the courtyards outside Osaka Castle, we decided to venture inside the castle. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to film inside the castle. However, I was allowed to film on the roof and the view from up there was fantastic.
Once we were done at Osaka Castle, it was time for us to head to Tokyo via the Shinkansen, also known as the Bullet Train. This was a first for both Amber and myself, so we were looking forward to doing it. And I gotta say, it's a really relaxing ride. Normally I suffer from motion sickness, but with this train, I felt fine. There were two things about the train that surprised me. The first being how the train banks on its turns, which makes sense since we're moving at a rather high speed. And the second was whenever a staff or crew member got to the end of our carriage, they would turn around, bow, and continue on their way. After a three hour ride on the Shinkansen, we made our way to our hotel for the night, which thankfully was just down the road from the station. Once we dropped off our things at the hotel, we ventured out and went exploring to look for dinner. Because it's December, the streets had just a few Christmas lights around the area. Anyway guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed our little rushed holiday in Osaka. Flights from Brisbane through Jetstar can be found from $600 return. If you're interested in staying at the same hotel we stayed at while in Osaka, Hotel Keihan Kibashi Grande has rooms starting at 8,200 Japanese yen a night. Osaka Castle Courtyard is free of charge. However, if you want to enter the castle itself, adults are 600 yen per person. Trading hours are from 9am to 5pm, but keep in mind they close the doors for newcomers at 4.30. Do take note as the castle is closed on the New Year's holidays. If you're wanting to take the Shinkansen from Osaka to Tokyo, the train departs from Shin Osaka Station. Tickets can be purchased at the station over the counter. Just simply say Shinkansen to Tokyo and the ticket officer will know what you mean. Just be sure to keep an ear out for the words reserved or non-reserved. Ticket prices start at 13,080 yen per person person, non-reserved one way, and 14,110 yen per person for reserved seats one way. If you opt for the non-reserved seats, typically you can sit within the first three carriages of the train. But bear in mind, if all seats are taken, you will have to stand the entire trip or until a seat becomes free. Snacks can be brought on board, however if you forget to do so, snacks can be purchased via snack cart that comes around once in a while. If you're planning on riding the Shinkansen multiple times your trip, I would suggest looking at getting a JR Pass. If you want more information on this, all the details can be found in the description below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. See you around!